Can I fill you in on something I've been wrestling with recently? Even something, if I'm being totally honest, causes me stress and anxiety. I'm a parent, and as my kids get older, I want to protect them from all the bad, and I know that I can't. Like, it, it really gets to me, and if I sit in it too long, I'll even get emotional. I know that I can't, and I know that I can't because like you, I've lived long enough to know that difficulty is just part of life. Tragedy is just part of life. Disappointment is just a part of life. And so my question is, how do we keep going? I think it's by fixing our eyes on the one that told us trouble was coming, but promised to see us through it. Jesus said these famous words in the Gospel of John, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome. On this side of heaven, life is never going to be fully and completely as it should be or as God intended it to be. There will be days and maybe even seasons when we aren't okay. There will be tragedies that happen personally that put us in a dark place and tragedies that happen globally that leave us sad and confused. Here's what I appreciate about Jesus' candor though. It's the most loving thing that he could have done. Jesus was preparing our hearts for what would be true about life. There's something comforting about preparation, even if you're preparing for the worst. There's an expectation gap between what we expect to be true and what will be true that no longer exists. Following Jesus doesn't eliminate the trouble we may experience in life. Following and giving our lives to Jesus is the best thing we could ever do, but it doesn't mean life gets easy. I believe life gets better that doesn't always mean easy. Sometimes better means this world is broken and life is hard, but my Savior knew it, my Savior called it, my Savior prepared me in advance for it, and I have hope because I have a Savior that can see me through it. Take heart, Jesus says. Don't give up. Don't despair. Literally, be courageous when our hearts are troubled when our circumstances don't look good, when life is hard, when stress and anxiety is looming and feels like it's winning, when you feel all alone, when you aren't sure if you can keep going, take heart. Open the scriptures, soak up the truth in it, pray as much as you can through it, lean on the faith of your brothers and sisters in Christ, and remember that Jesus promised, I have overcome the world. And that statement right there, is the hope that the Christian faith is built on. The word overcome means to win in the face of obstacles, to prevail and to conquer. And that particular form of the word means always prevailing. Before Jesus even died and rose again, he was claiming his ultimate victory over sin and death. Because even though it hadn't happened yet, it was as good as done because Jesus is faithful. Even the finality of death doesn't have the final say because Jesus always wins. His victory is our victory. The hope he won is the hope that we have. So if you find yourself in a difficult season where everything feels broken, expectations crushed, and your faith feels frail, remember that you are never alone. You are deeply loved, and Jesus always wins.